USA Today poll published today shows 77% of white people trust police, while only 42% of black people feel the same. As for the Black Lives Matter movement, 75% of black people trust it, while only 42% of white people feel the same. For years, local law enforcement officers have been engaging in a type of policing that tries to build tighter bonds with local residents. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci is live in Arlington, where community-centered policing is alive and well in this community, right Vic? Yeah, we had a lot of interesting conversations today. People will tell you that there are problems here in this neighborhood, but there's a lot of great people. And if those people and police officers can come together, they can really make some progress before the crisis. On Justina Road in Arlington, crime is a big concern. We need to start taking a step forward to making some changes, providing some resources for these kids. Cheryl Williams feels her community can be forgotten or labeled as bad. Historically, there's been tension between people here and the police, making matters worse. How are we doing with the relationship between the community and police? Bad. Oh, that's so pretty. Can have a hug? Oh, you want to shake a hand? You want to shake my hand? Okay, thank you. But JSO Assistant Chief Lakeisha Burton is trying to change that. How are you supposed to send Is that you in there? Yeah. I see you. One person at a time. That's, I'm real good. Yeah. It's so good to see you. Last year, we had an influx of violent crime for a lot of different reasons. Obviously, we had the COVID, we had a lot of the civil unrest. You don't have to tell her about the divide. She and her officers see it daily. Not everyone backs the blue. Yeah. Which is why many police are getting out of their cruisers and walking the streets. You're dealing with people that might have similar views, a similar upbringing. How does that help with bridging that gap? It does help because first of all, they're talking to somebody who looks like them, who have some of their uh, lived experiences of them and they trust me, they trust us and they listen to us. It's no magic pill, she says. There are still problems, but it appears to be making a difference. What is this? Uh, we're just doing a positive story about you all. This helps. This helps. This up right to let everybody know that everything is okay. Burton believes this can help relationships in every neighborhood. We're walking in stores and asking people, hey, do you have an opportunity to invite the police here to your church or to your neighborhood? So we just want to come and have these real authentic conversations. This has to become a meeting of the minds once again in order to get this together for these kids. You can text them. Yep, yeah, it's one of my screens. Because after all, isn't it all about the kids? And there's more opportunities to bond with the community. Next week, the kids are going to be out on spring break. They're out of school. Not all of them are going to have access to a meal. So Chief Burton and her crew, as well as some community leaders, are coming together here at Justina Road Elementary Park. They're going to be giving out meals Monday through Friday so no kids have to go home hungry and also to make sure that they have some positive influences to be around when they're out of school. We're live in Arlington. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. So what do you think, Vic? Do you think we'll be seeing more of this relationship building in, in other parts of town? Well, Chief Burton says that she hopes hoods here in Jacksonville, and I've had many conversations with the sheriff as well as the state attorney, and they say we can't police and arrest our way out of these problems. It's about that community relationship. So certainly you're seeing it more than just here in Arlington, all across the city. They're at least trying to bond with the residents before those people call 911 or actually need the police. Vic Michalucci reporting to us live. Thank you, Vic.